Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick little review on tan towels. I have mentioned them before, I think in a haul video I mentioned that I bought the tan towels just to try them out and see how they were and that I would give them a little bit more of a whirl and then be able to do a review for you. So this is just going to be a quick little rundown of the tan towels, how I use them, what my thoughts were, if I thought they worked, and if I think you should purchase them. So if you would like to see my thoughts on the tan towels, please keep First, watching. I do want to say that I'm trying out a new lip color. You guys can tell me what you think about it. This is Limbo from ColourPop and it's basically just a true brown color. But I just got a Big Color Pop haul. I'm going to be filming that video shortly going over all of the different lipsticks. I got two lippy sticks and four of these ultra matte liquid lipsticks and then two of their blushes as well. So I'll be doing a full haul video and review and swatch video for you. But I'm testing out each of the different products that I've got. So I've been using the liquid lipsticks throughout the days. This one was like my wild card that I bought and... It's pretty much, it's it's a wild card. I mean, you guys can tell me your thoughts on it. It's brown. Browns seem to be very in, and especially with fall coming, it's, I don't even know if it's going to reach 60 degrees here today in Iowa. It is so chilly outside. But I thought it would be a good fall color to test and try out for you guys, since it's probably like a bit of a more intimidating color to buy. So that's kind of what I had in mind when I purchased it. But this is what it looks like. And that's Limbo from ColourPop. To get into the actual purpose of this video, I'm going to be talking about the tan towel. It comes in this like cute little orange and white packaging box. The ones that I got, it says it's for half body application for face and body. Okay, I thought I was reading that wrong. You can get the tan towels. They have them for face and body. They have ones that are just for face. And the box that I picked up, it does say Tantel Plus on here. And the plus is supposed to mean it's for like a darker application. And I think they had Tantel Classic as well when I was buying these. And I bought the plus mostly just because when I do self-tan, like I want to self-tan. I want to I wanna get at it. I don't just want to be like kind of tan. This box had 10 towelettes in it. And it was $27.00. I bought them from Top Loft Boutique. It is the boutique that my sister-in-law owns. I mentioned her in a recent clothing haul that I did, but she sells the tan towels. So you can buy them at a lot of different locations, but you know, I believe Amazon has them. Tan towels, of course, has their own website. And I believe it was like on HSN or QVC or one of those like home shopping channels that my aunt was telling me that she purchased them on it. And it was like for some crazy super awesome discounted price. So if you watch any of those channels or shop through them, uh, I would be on the lookout for tan towels because apparently they offer really good deals on there. So, I mean, price wise, it's probably gonna vary quite a bit for exactly what you're looking for, how many you want. Tan the tan towel website does have more, like they had um, spraying mist and they had like regular lotion. They have huge packs, they had like, packs that just have a ton of towelettes in them. I mean, the website is, is really good, I thought, and they have a lot of different options on there for you, but sometimes you can find them for cheaper at places like boutiques or other online vendors or even the home shopping networks. So that's kind of a breakdown of the price, and I thought, so for 10 towelettes, these say they're for half body application for your face and your body. So what I did is I used one towel and I basically tanned my lower body. I tanned like my legs and like my stomach sort of thing. And then I used another towel and I tanned like my chest, my upper torso, my back, my arms, and my face. So it took me two towels to tan my entire body. And usually when I go in to self tan at an actual tanning bed and use like their Versa Spa, uh, is usually the one that I use the most when I tan at places. It's like $30 every single time that I go into tan because I don't do memberships because I don't tan that often to feel like I need a membership. So just to do it like the a la carte, I believe it's around $30 for one. And I paid $27 for 10 towelettes, which cut it in half gives me five times. So basically I'm saving money already. So that makes me very happy. So that's kind of the gist on my breakdown of the money, if you're someone who spends money to go get spray tans and things like that, this could be a cheaper option for you. Now, when it comes to the actual application of it, I was, my first thought was to actually do it for you on camera, but honestly, I just was in Chicago last weekend for three days and 
the Friday that we were there, we went to a Chicago Cubs and White Sox game, and it was like 98 degrees at 3 o'clock at game time. We were sitting in the sun, we were in the bleachers, and I'm actually pretty tan right now, so I didn't think the tan towels would actually do anything for me. So I'm not actually going to put it on for you on camera, but it takes a couple hours to develop anyways, so it's not like you would have seen anything if I applied it on camera. It just come in a little package like this, then on the inside, it kind of reminds me of just like a moist towelette, a wet towelette, sorry if you are someone who doesn't like the word moist. What you do is just take it and you rub it in circular motions over your body. So that's really all you do, you just rub it in the circular motions, make sure you get everywhere that you want to tan. You know, if you have trouble, you know, maybe reaching your back, if you have a friend or a spouse or someone on hand that can help you out with that, that's probably good. I recommend having some sort of towel on the hand that you're doing it with because the first time I did it, I just did it with my bare hand, I'm right-handed. I just used my right hand to do everything and my right hand was stained pretty orange. So I would recommend going in with a towel. It wasn't super bad, like I felt like I couldn't leave my house. I looked so silly I needed to wear a Michael Jackson glove, but it was somewhat noticeable. So the next time that, that I used it, I just wore, my husband does a lot of work in the basement and he wears like these like plastic gloves to protect his hands. I just used one of those, applied it and everything was fine. It went much better. So that's kind of an application tip that I found for you. But after you get done putting it on, wherever it is that you want to put it on, it does say that it will take two to four hours to produce the tan. And in that two to four hours, you want to avoid things like showering and probably working out or anything where you're going to sweat a lot. You kind of want to avoid anything that will get you wet because that could cause problems with like streaking and things like that. I will remember one time it was in college I went and I had gotten a spray tan and I went home and watched an episode of Gilmore Girls. Anyone watch Gilmore Girls? But I cried and I didn't really like one tear started to go down my cheek and I was like oh no no I spray tanned and I tried to wipe them away but you could see the tear track in my face. And I was like cool what how how do I fix this? I mean I look like a clown it was ridiculous. So don't do anything that's going to cause you to sweat or anything like that. Wait the two to four hours and then I just take a shower and wash it off. What I found was kind of interesting as I put it on, you won't see anything right away. It's not like you wipe it on and you're like, oh, look, brown. You don't see anything right away. But over time, it does start to develop that spray tan smell. Like whenever I would get back from getting a spray tan at the tanning salon, like you could smell it. And some people, some of my friends I know wouldn't shower after getting a spray tan. Like they would even want to sleep in it because it's kind of like the longer you can keep it on, the more you, like the deeper tan you get type of thing. And I know people that actually sleep in it. And I'm like, there is no way I'd be able to do that because you just kind of start to smell. And it's not like you smell like BO or like garbage. It just has a very particular spray tan smell. So when I put it on the first time and realized I was starting to smell like that, I'm like, whoa, this is like an actual spray tan that I put on my body. Like, how cool is that? So that's another thing I noticed, but I waited the full four hours and then I took a shower. And you will notice when you shower, like your water is kind of brown. And I know, you know, one of the first times that I ever spray tanned and I showered and it was brown, I was like, I just washed off my entire spray tan. Like, why did I do that? But what it's doing is just like taking like the excess off so you're not sticky anymore you don't have any like residual residue on your body or anything like that but you still will be tan so don't panic if you see the brown water and think you washed off your spray tan because you still will be tan and then really after the four hours you take a shower you come out and you are tan my tan from the tan towels lasted just about two weeks i mean it does fade over time and it probably fades more if you shower more I have mentioned this in some of my past videos that I work from home and don't really go anywhere. So I only wash my hair like twice a week, but I do like body showers probably three or four times depending on like the workouts that I'm doing and things like that. If I get really sweaty and need to rinse my body off type of thing. But my spray tan lasted about two weeks, which I was really happy with. As for the actual color, I did like the color of it. It did make me look tan but it did have kind of an orange tint to it. And I would say, especially like the first, like
like days one and day two, I noticed that it was more orange and then over time that orange kind of seemed to fade. So the first two days or so, I would say that I noticed an orange tint to it, but I will also say in certain spray tanning beds, I notice orange as well. So, I mean, I don't know. It, it didn't bother me that much just because I've seen it happen before in spray tanning beds and it faded after the two days and I thought it just looked tan and like a regular tan. So I wasn't too upset with it, but some of you may notice that it can turn kind of orange. So that was what I noticed with the color. And then for application tips, I mean, I don't know if I have a whole lot of application tips. Like I talked about using the glove for the hand that you want to tan. Um, I do recommend like starting with the larger areas of your body. So if you're going to do your full body, I say to start with the legs just because, you know, legs take longer to tan and you want to give... You want to give the areas of your body that you have the most of the most time to tan as well. I don't think that's a huge deal. I don't think that's necessarily how you have to start. But when I do watch a lot of other self-tanning videos, most people tend to start with their legs and kind of work your way up. I did tan my face the very first time I used it just because I wanted to be able to use it on all areas of my body so I could talk to you guys about it. So I did tan my face the first time and I didn't the next time just because I truly don't feel like my face needs to be tan. It's probably the one area of my body get, that gets tan the quickest naturally just when I'm outside. So, and it's also the part of my body that I'm constantly washing. You know, I wash my face twice a day. I'm exfoliating my face. I just felt like I was going to be immediately taking the tan off. I also did think my face turned pretty orange and it didn't fade as easily as the rest of my body. So I thought my face stayed kind of more orangey-ish. One of the reasons why I avoided doing my face, I know they do have the face towels that are specifically for your face. I do not have those, so I don't know. Are they different? Are they only smaller towelettes from the regular half body towelettes? I'm not totally positive, but they do have ones that are specific for your face. You know, maybe they have different ingredients for it for, you know, if there's things like acne. I'm really not sure on that, but I probably would not tan my face again with these tan towels or really even with any other self tanner just because I don't feel like my face needs it. Um, sometimes when you spray tan, they do recommend to put lotion in areas that you don't want tan, like between the webs of your fingers, places that like look awkward and that don't necessarily get tan, like the webs of your fingers are talked about. I usually put the lotion like on the sides of my feet and on my heels places that you kind of want to avoid the tan. I didn't see that I needed to do that with the tan towel, so I didn't use lotion the first time anywhere and I thought everything turned out fine. I didn't use lotion the second time either and I thought everything turned out fine. So that's something a little bit different from a spray tan in a salon that I noticed that, that I didn't necessarily need. When I get a spray tan in the tanning salon, I'm, I always use that lotion. I, I have to have that. Otherwise, for application tips, I, I didn't have too many. I would recommend putting down some sort of towel when you are self-tanning. You know, sometimes if it does transfer onto your feet, then you're not getting it on your bathroom floor, things like that. So the second time that I self-tanned, I just stood on a towel and did it, and everything worked out fine for me. I also wear loose clothing afterwards, you know, just kind of like bigger t-shirts not shirts that I would be bummed about if any product did transfer to it, but I did not notice a lot of transfer onto my clothes after I used the tan towel. I would say I probably noticed him more when I use an actual spray tan machine. So I didn't think that was a big issue. So all in all, for the money and for the convenience and for the overall effect, I really had a good experience with the tan towels. It wasn't anything that I was like super blown away by. I mean, that I'm like, you can't live without this product because I mean, tanning is kind of like a take it or leave it, especially if you live somewhere in a more sunshiny climate and you can be out in the sun a lot, you know, maybe you don't need to worry about self tanning. But um, for me, for someone who, you know, a lot of times just for special events, I would like to be tanner. These came in really, really handy for me. I used them before I was a bridesmaid in a wedding and I thought it gave me a really good color payoff and I looked good in my bridesmaid dress, which was awesome.
but it helps save me money on going to the tanning salon and it's also such a huge convenience factor. I don't have to worry about going anywhere. I can do it in the comfort of my own home, which I think is a really big deal. I don't have to worry about lines, you know, sometimes at our tanning salon, especially because we all know how dangerous tanning beds are. The sunless tanning has become so popular. I've had to wait a half hour at a time before to get into our Versa spot or tanning salon. You know, this is just, hey, I have a free moment. I'm just going to go quickly tan myself, wait a couple hours, and then shower it off in the afternoon, and boom, I'm tanned. So, I mean, for the price, the convenience, and I, I think the color does look good. It worked out really well for me. So, would I recommend this product? I would. I think it worked out really well. I'm really happy that I got to try it out. I'm happy that I was shopping at Toploft one day and noticed the tan towels and was like, I should give these a shot because they really have come in handy, especially now that we're getting more into like the fall. I don't know if I will self tan a lot in the winter just because it does kind of look odd if you're tan and it's 20 below with six feet of snow outside. Am I going to have a tan? Meh. Probably not, but in the fall when you just don't want to let go of summer, it'll probably be a nice thing to have around the house. That is my review of the tan towels. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Maybe if you were on the fence about purchasing the tan towels or another self-tanning item, I hope this helped and gave you some information. If you guys do have any other questions that maybe I didn't address or I missed or I probably, sh I'm sure I forgot something, I meant to write this down but I never write anything down for videos and I was like, nope, let's just go with it and see what pops up. But if I miss anything or you have any other questions, please just comment below and I will be so happy to answer them for you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or you found it helpful, anything along those lines. If you have used the tan towels and you've had a good experience, a bad experience, a so-so experience, please do comment below so if other people are watching this video and they wanna see what other people have to say, Leave your experience below as well, you know, maybe help someone else out also. I have been thinking about purchasing a few other sunless tan tanning items just to be able to talk to you about them and give you like more options. So if there's anything that you guys have had your eye on that you're thinking about, please let me know what it is and hopefully I can purchase that in the future and try it out for you so I can do another review for you guys. I absolutely do love doing product reviews because this is how I purchase so many of my things. I literally go into YouTube, type out the product that I'm thinking about getting and watch the videos that come in to know like, yes, should I get it? Should I not get it? And it really does help me out. So if there's anything else that you want to see me review, I mean, sunless tanning wise or beauty wise, book wise, anything like that, please just let me know. And I'm so happy to do that for you. Please subscribe before you go. If you have not, let me know what you guys think on this limbo lip color from ColourPop. I'm super curious to get your guys' feedback on the brown just because it is so different. As always, thank you so much for coming by my channel. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.